Hey y'all, thanks for clicking on today's video. My name is Deanna and we're going to do a huge grocery haul from Whole Foods. My family is plant-based. We are newly plant-based. We've been plant-based probably for about three months now. So this will be an entire plant-based grocery haul. I am doing a huge haul because we recently moved and we moved further away from a sprout. <laughs> away from a Sprouts or a Whole Foods and that's just where I prefer to shop. At those stores you have more of a variety of different things. I have clean ingredients and I have a two-year-old and an eight-month-old. So, so I really try my best to look at the ingredients before I bring them home. So let's go shopping. We have to fill up this entire fridge and this pantry. This pantry is smaller than our old pantry but this fridge? Boy. Very big, very nice. So let's get into it. the grocery haul I wanted to give you some um, resources that I use for plant-based if you're newly plant-based and you don't really know how to feed and nourish properly your family I have this book I have two cookbooks one I can't find the other one but this one right here is called the plant-based baby and toddler so they give you a bunch of recipes that give you everything that you need like protein iron everything um, for your baby to make sure that everybody is getting the right amount of nutrients so you don't have to like stress about what to feed your kid this just gives you a bunch of ideas as well as resources I love that book and I also have healthy girl the healthy girl cookbook I'll put a picture of it I have that one too and I like to use those recipes in there and also just some of my own favorite like spin on recipes because I'm learning too. Like like I told y'all, I'm new to this, so yeah. Okay, this is everything I've got plus this over here. Um, let's look and see what we got. So we'll start on this side because I have to put it in the freezer. I got a bunch of frozen vegetables like broccoli, green beans, spinach, because they last longer. That's why I get it frozen. Got some french fries because I'm a french fry girl. Butter, veggie patties, and some of these. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to look at these ingredients. Um, I had to, I should put this back. I should have put this back because it has eggs, but I got these too, as well as those. All into the fridge now. Okay, so I got some baking soda for the fridge. Cacao powder for baking. This is like like uh, chocolate so got that some quinoa I got two things of quinoa moringa powder it's like um matcha without the caffeine <laughs> um flax seeds ground flax seeds I got some cheese which I'll probably not even use this but I just wanted to have it just in case I do and then I got this to try for my toddler look at the ingredients that's it. Really cool. This is my favorite coconut water, so I got that. I have two things of yogurt. I just opened one. Um, this is my favorite orange juice, but they also make grapefruit juice and lemonade. So I got all of them. Four juices. I have amaranth, which is a grain, so instead of using rice, quinoa, you can also use amaranth, so I'm going to try to incorporate that as well. Some black beans, popcorn for Kwame, more black beans, and lentils, and kitty beans. <laughs> I got tomato paste. And then this brand, I'm trying to also stay away from wheat with our family. So this is like pasta, but it uses cassava flour. Cassava is like yuca. So I got this. It's like orzo. Well, it is orzo. I got two of those. And then I got this type of pasta as well. Same, 
this is brown rice pasta. Now I just got a little bit of berries because I do plan on going to the farmer's market to get more. So those berries right there. I got some avocado oil. And then I got some oat milk. I got um, three of these. But this brand only has this ingredients. Filtered water, whole grain oats, and salt. So if they also have like almond milk. But we're she can't have nuts. So we're using oats. And then I got a bunch of vegetable broth <laughs> and some seasonings. Go over that. I got this herb seasoning. I got some more date paste because we don't have any more. And then I got Vietnamese cinnamon because, like I said earlier, that book was talking about the different types of cinnamons, and this is a good cinnamon to use. And I got oregano, allspice, and turmeric. I got some other ones. I just don't have them right here. <laughs> and I got some ketchup. Two things of ketchup. As well as some Mexican rice blend. Because this is my favorite rice ever. I just can't ever get it right because I don't know how to season it the way they do. So the Dozen Cousins has good ingredients right there so that's what I got there and then I also got some easy to prepare stuff so easy to prepare beans a bunch of different types of beans because you can just always throw beans it's a good source of protein fiber and then I got a bunch of jackfruit as well they they can sit in the pantry the jackfruit then over here I got our juices. I got aloe juice, apple juice, and a mango bent juice. And this is my favorite beet juice. It has all this stuff in it, but I like this juice. Got some plantains. This is the other yogurt, the other milks. Oh, yes, I got coriander. Put that over here. Some unrefined coconut oil. Barbecue sauce. I think I have one over there as well. I think I got two. And then some pasta sauce and some grapes. Also, this bag of chips. It's like a small individual bag, so we can take it on the go. Or yogurt. I woke up this morning. Got me feeling brand new. Like, I know what to do. Got me feeling the starting. Sending clues, I'm sending gratitude back Cause the whole world's outside Sun in my eye, a girl in my ride right here they actually contain wheat 
um, here and here. So this is a, a shell pasta and this is the veggie pasta, but they both contain wheat. And like I said, we're trying to stay away from wheat because I have an inkling that my daughter's allergic to wheat. So I'm going to just replace it with these and hope we like them. Shove them on top of here. All that I crave when you're away, nights are sleepless. Do you need space? Yeah, maybe you're brave. Boy, you're my weakness. Given we take the love that we make, it's my favorite drug. Right, so it's not pretty at all but that's okay i'm just glad that we have food in our pantry and i will make it pretty eventually but i really just want to get food here so that we can cook and be at home so thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in our next video peace Yeah.